Hello. In this video, we will talk about how to um, do a reverse lookup using the Z table. Here is example number one. What is the Z value that represents 73.24% to the left hand side of the curve? And obviously, this is the standard distribution, standard normal distribution curve. So how do we find this um, Z value? What we can do is we can go to the Z table that represents the left-hand side um, area of the positive numbers, because we see 73.24% falls in the positive numbers area. And we can look for inside the table for that specific value. So um, here it is. 0.7324, this is 73.24%. And now what we'll do is we'll do a reverse lookup. So we'll look back to what is the first decimal number, so that's 0 0.6, and the second decimal is 0 0.002. So together we'll get that our Z value is 0 0.62. So if we look back at the distribution for Z, 0.62, its representation is 73.24% area under the curve. Let's see another example. What is the Z value that represents 2% of the right hand side of the curve? So this area under the curve, the tail, is 2%. What will be the Z value that equivalent to that area? Now, the problem with this scenario is that we don't have a Z table to give us the right hand side tail. So what we do is we use the symmetry and we're using the left hand side tail, which these two are exactly the same tail. So both of them are 2%. So in this case, because we're using the left hand side tail, we'll use the negative number table to find the 2% inside. So here's the table. And we're looking for inside for 2%. Now, if you look carefully, you'll see that you don't have exactly 2%. You have 0 0.0197 and you have 0 0.0202. So the closest value to 2% is 0 0.0202. And we'll use that value in our scenario. So reverse lookup, you look at uh, the number to the first decimal, it's negative two, and the second decimal is uh, five. So we'll end up that Z is equal, um, neg it's negative 2.05, but because we are going to use the opposite side, we will use the positive value. So that's um, how we find the equivalent Z value. Let's see another example. What is the v Z value that represents 5% tail to the left-hand side of the curve? So in this case, we are looking at the left-hand side of the curve. So again, we use the negative numbers uh, Z table and we search inside for 5%. So inside 5% and you see that um, there is no 5% exactly. There is um, 0.0495, so 4.95% and 0 0.0505, so it's 5.05%. 5% falls exactly between. So if we'll do a reverse lookup, we can see that the equivalent Z value will be 1.6 to the negative or to the uh, positive, it will be plus 1.6. And we can take the midpoint, which is exactly where 0 0.05 falls, and that will be um, the 0 0.045 point. So together, if you um, combine that, you'll get that your Z value is negative 1.645. So it depends if you need the right-hand side tail or the left-hand side tail, that's the sign will be defined. We need the left-hand side tail, so the sign will be negative. So here it is in the uh, representation here, you can see the left-hand side will have a negative 1.645 Z value. Let's see another example. Example number four is asking you what are the Z values that represent 95% area on the center of the curve. So we have on the center of the curve 
how do we find exactly what is the z values that represent uh, the cutoff values? So in this scenario, we need to find first this tail here. Now, how do we do that? We know that the whole distribution is equal to one, and therefore we'll subtract 95% uh, from one, and we got 5%. But this 5% represent both of the tails, both the left-hand side and the right-hand side tail. So our next step will be, because this symmetry is one of the characteristic of the standard normal distribution, we can take the 5% and divide by two. And then we get 2.5% each tail. So we have 2.5% each tail. With 2.5%, we can go now to the negative table of the Z values and search inside 2.5%. So let's go to the table and search 2.5%. And here it is, we find exactly the number. We do a reverse lookup. So um, the values to the first decimal is 1.9 and it's 1.96. So our Z value is negative 1.96 for the left-hand side. Now, because we have 2.5% in both sides, um, the Z value for the right hand side will just be the positive 1.96. Again, symmetry is the key here, and both areas and both Z values are the same. So that's complete our example for reverse lookup using the Z table. Thank you.